Welcome in to the USL Pro Playoffs Preview. My name's Nicholas Murray, very pleased to be joined by David Magner as we take a look ahead to this Saturday's quarterfinal between the LA Galaxy 2 and Rochester Rhinos at the StubHub Center. Now both of these teams are going to be hopeful of moving on. They've finished the season in pretty good form. The Rhinos also have some confidence going west as they took a 2-1 victory at the StubHub Center earlier in this season in the only meeting between these two teams. With the Galaxy 2's attack and the Rhino's defense, though, it certainly could be a really interesting contrast in styles and a fascinating matchup. I think you, your last point is the best one, is that that's been the hallmark for these teams all season. It's been about the Galaxy attack and Rochester's defense. That's what those te two teams have done so well this year. Rochester will have that confidence knowing that they went into L.A. earlier in the season and came away with three points. We look how these teams finish the year. Both of them sort of had mixed results in the last month or so, but they did finish strong with a win this weekend, including LA, who sort of beat their bo their bogey team in Sacramento. Well, the Galaxy 2 have really been as an offensively strong, but the thing for me on this weekend's game is what's the makeup of their squad going to look like? If they get some of the players down from the Galaxy first team that they have, I'm looking at a player like Char Chandler Hoffman, who had 13 goals this season, mm -hmm. then they could not just be a, a fixture to win this weekend, they could be a threat to some of the other teams that, to take a championship. Yeah, With all the guys that have scored goals for this team this season, it's, it's very possible that they could be that team that takes the championship. You talked about Hoffman, you have McBean as well up top. Uh, Charlie Rugg is another name that comes to mind that's performed so well for the team. And then they've had some consistent guys in that team as well. You have Lorendi in goal, a guy like Andre Ars in the midfield. So they've had a lot of mainstays that have helped enable that offense all year. But it's been all about the forwards for the Galaxy, so that'll be the key for them, I think. Certainly could get Bradford Jamison the fourth back after his stint with the US U-20s this past week as well. Uh, now, while the Galaxy have been really good going forward, as we mentioned earlier, the Rhinos' defense has really been the foundation of their success. Conceded the second fewest goals in USL Pro this season, just 25 goals against in 28 games. The flip side to that, though, has been they only scored the second second fewest goals in USL Pro as well. Who are the guys that are going to have to step up for them to spring another upset on the road? Sure, I think it starts with the defense. You talk about you start with McCarthy and goal. He's our goal goals against average champion this season. Performed so well throughout the year. Then you have guys in front of him like a Diallo, like a Hoffer, who were so solid in the back, and that back line really stayed healthy this year and was able to perform consistently and be there week in week out. But for me, it's still going to be about who's going to score the goals for the Rhinos. I know I sound like a broker, re broken record this year coming up and talking about that each week. But somebody like J.C. Banks, a veteran who scored big goals for that team and scored some big goals this season, is really need to, going to have to step up again this weekend. Well, this Saturday's quarterfinal between the Galaxy 2 and Rhinos is set for a 7.30 p.m. Pacific time kickoff at the StubHub Center. You can join us for all of the action on YouTube and follow USL Pro on Twitter at USL Pro, and also on Facebook, Google Plus, and Instagram to get news and updates from all of this weekend's playoff games.